Hello everybody, welcome back to Jekyll and Hyde. I'm so sorry I've been gone for like the longest time. It's because depression is a bitch and likes to control my life. But we're gonna finally do a video today. Trying not to get copyrighted. I'm playing music in the background. Okay, here we go. What were you doing last time? Totally forgot. So we were in the, in the, yeah, the safe. Let's get out of here. Because we discovered that Hyde was in the will. And what really happened that night. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you wait. It was unpresented. It was an unpresented experiment, so I got a little lost. Hmm. It looks like you want to hear about my experience. Experiment. It's only a hypothesis. Would you like to hear? Yes, I'd love to. That's like the only uh, option. I'm not sure if you'll understand, but I'll try my best to explain it clearly. I'm doing research on how the independent personas that make up a human ego are related, and how they affect a man's behavior and thoughts. Oh. Was that too complicated for me? For you? Not for me, but forever. <laughs> yes, it was hard to understand. <laughs> no, for me it wasn't. I'll try to simplify it so that you can understand. I'm sorry about that. A man has more than one ego. Let's see. If we speak in terms of religion, it means that a man can have more than two souls. Well, nothing to say? Huh. I'm a duck. Okay. I'm a doctor, so I wouldn't be talking nonsense in front of you. If you still don't understand, I'll simplify it even further. Take this gold, for instance, okay? Yes! Chapter 2 Hide and Seek. Stay. Sorry, I'm just singing. I'm okay. After a few days. <laughs> Time to see if the newspaper article was correct. High br brutality revealed. You can play the additional case in the timeline. Go. Disturbance. Start additional case. I have so many cases I've started. I don't even know if I even finished one. Uh, no, I do not want to purchase that. That's weird. Okay. Uh, achievements. Hide and seek. Can you hear me? I'm not that close to the review. Okay. Down file. That's a clue. Okay. So, who am I supposed to go to? What is he doing here? Why is he looking around like that? How unpleasant. Another rude customer. I will be back, guys. I like looking at these things. Okay. So we're back. Who am I talking to? Like. Okay, no, not to you. Ah, to you. Um. Oh, I do not have enough gold. How do I get gold? No. This only gives me silver coins, not gold coins. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to skip this case because I have no idea how I'm supposed to get gold coins. I think you have to finish the case. Okay, so how do I go back? Like, how do I leave this? Hey, you! I need a drink. I really need a drink. Here, sir. What's this? Why is this food so bland? What are the spices? Damn this dude. Are you looking down on me? Sir, we don't use many spices in our cooking here. Shut up. If the wine is bad, I'll break the bottle. <laughs> 
Damn. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, we get it. We talk to the I can't talk to this because I can't like What are you what are you doing here? How do I get out of here? I wanna get out of here because I can't purchase it. I know who to talk to, it's just a stupid thing is I can't purchase it. Like, purchase? Go? Yeah, I can't do that. I don't have any money in my account right now. Oh! Okay, I get it! Okay, so... I'll just see how many gold coins I get from that. Okay, so I'll be back, guys. Okay, so guys, I had to go back because honestly, I tried doing the ad thing. It only gave me 50 gold coins, not 75. So we're gonna have to skip that case. <laughs> Another ride. Let's check it out. Oh, nice. So this time I could do the search for Mr. Hyde and I can go with my gold coins. I mean, my silver coins. So the thing is, here's the thing every day they post new ads and that will give you more money. So, if I run into a case that doesn't have that, it's gonna be bad. Okay, so we're gonna do this one, and yeah. Ever since that day I read the news people more careful at you, even though London has been peaceful for the past few days. Even news about little incidents make me nervous. What was that? Huh. <sighs> look, look at this article in the corner. An unpleasant man caused a disturbance at a pub threatened. Oh my, this is definitely Mr. Hyde. Like, see, that's what we would have been doing if I had enough money for that case, is I would be playing Mr. Hyde, causing a disturbance in the in the pub, but I didn't have enough money. <laughs> I'm worried about Jackal. I can't just stay still. He sighed for me. I wonder if Jekyll knows about this. I'll have to investigate Mr. Hyde by myself. That's not, uh, we already know. Shit. That man has been locked away for good. Sir, please calm down. Can you describe the culprit to me? Hmm, he looks horrifying, and he had a fancy black cane. A cane? Did he do this to you with a cane? Yes, he kept hitting me until I lost consciousness. Oh, I saw him head towards the river right before I passed out. The river? The river Thames? Thames, I think, is the only river nearby. He's caused disturbance everywhere. I love him, how he does the... <laughs> Mr. Hyde carried an expensive cane which he used to he used to beat up a pedestrian before disappearing to the street near the river. Okay. That's like ask people things. I'll just go. Hey, you, you are looking for him. Hmm? You're finally looking back. Haha. <laughs> you, you are looking for him, right? Have you seen him? He wandered into the dark and killed many women. Hmm, well, who are you talking about? Who, what, who are you talking about? Aren't you looking for Jack the Ripper? 
Check the Ripper. I'm looking for a man named Mr. Hyde. What? I guess I was wrong. Get lost. I think I should just go. Oh, okay. That was really crazy. Oh, hey. It gives me a little thing on my character. Jack... The yeah, we know Jack... Every I think all of y'all should know who Jack the Ripper is. He is falling asleep. Wow. Fishing. Excuse me, may I ask you something? Hmm? Pardon me? Oh, if I may, I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh, I was dozing off. Certainly, I will answer them. I tapped too fast. Oh my god, I'm a freaking idiot. Were you here at dawn? Yes, the moon was bright and there were a lot of fish, so I've been sitting here all night. I'm staying here for the rest of the day as well, just in case. Then did you see a strange man, a strange man pass by here at dawn? Hmm. Oh, I saw a horrifying man pass by. He disappeared into the cavernous square, cursing and swearing. Our eyes met by accident when I turned my head to look at him. It was a face that I wished to never see again. I see. Thank you. If you meet him again, just run away. His eyes weren't that of a man. <sighs> yeah. The square. What happened? Gotta go to Cabbage Square. I'm very itchy today. I burnt myself, like, got burnt. And whenever I my body hits hot liquids, I break out into hives, so... I've got some hives over my arms. Mr. Hyde seemed to be in a bad mood in the early morning and disappeared into the Cabbage Square while swearing. I usually don't go to pubs. Oh, right, this is the one where I'm supposed to figure out the password. I've played this before, I just, like, never recorded and haven't played it in so long. I, re I just remember that, like, I have to, like, find a password to the pub. It smells nice. But I don't want to eat on the street. Okay. That's fine. Talk to him. Hmm, may I ask you a question? What is it? Have you seen a horrifying man who goes by the name of Mr. Hyde? Hmm, I'm not sure. Have you tried reporting him to the police? Are you a private detective or something? No, I'm a fool to ask such a stupid question. Even Londoner knows it, right? I'm not sure if the police can help us. Do you know what I think about the police? Do you think they invade your personal freedom? Uh, well, yes. They just stand around and do nothing much. I can't say anything when I'm outside. So you think it's a waste of taxes? Yes, exactly. However much money the police have, crime always seems to remain the same. I understand. Goodbye. Talk to him. Oh, well, he's just handing out newspapers. We have the complete works of Dickens in hardcover, first ones in London. I suggest you read Oliver Twist, A Christmas Carol, and Nicholas Nickleby. I don't really read novels, though. Of course, I know who Nicholas... I mean, who's... That says Charles. Where the frick did I get Nicholas from? Who Charles Dickens is? Everybody knows. Well, how about reading them now? That is alright. I prefer not to read fanical fiction. Anyway, recent novels have all been out about ghosts and phantoms. Dickens just wrote stories about the same, didn't he? Not so. Dickens also wrote social commentaries and satires. I'm sorry. Perhaps I will buy them and read them another time. Hmm. Oh, actually, I to... wait a minute, you need a password to set by the owner to get in. A password? I don't know the details by the owner said so. I am getting paid to stop people from entering without the password, so go somewhere else if you don't know it. Well, I don't know the password, but my friend does. Your friend who? My friend that owns a linen shop in the alley. Hey, be quiet over there, you forgot the password and you've been loitering out here for hours. Linen shop. I think it was in the alley Mr. Infield and I often walk by.
I think I had to go back to the map. Go to Blind Alley. Go to the linen shop. Oh, my back hurts so bad. I'm slouching and I'm not meaning to. Oh, shit, my head. Sorry. I've been moving around too much. One second. I like to get coins. Don't judge me, guys. I'll be back again. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I'll talk to this girl. Excuse me, have you seen a man named Mr. Hyde? Mr. Hyde? I don't think I've seen him. Has he caused some trouble? There was a news article about him having caused a disturbance. A disturbance? Oh, there's a place where such people gather. Where is it? It's in so Soho. Outsiders, poor people, and thugs gather there. There's a little theater and several pubs in the center of Soho, but there residents surrounded yeah. <laughs> uh, two the center or century I don't know isn't safe um so go around the outskirts first thank you for letting me know I, I know I have what the fuck was that about Shop. Is that the linen shop? Yes. These fabrics just came in this morning. Take a look. <clears throat> Excuse me, do you. Oh, are you looking for something? No, it's not that. You know the. God, this is probably awkward for him to ask. You know the pub in Ca Cavistish Square? I was told that I need a password to get in. Do you happen to know the password? Oh, is that so? All of the regulars know the password for that pub. A friend of yours asked me to ask you. He said he forgot the password. Haha, <laughs> I won't speak ill of a gentleman who drinks during daylight. Password is to love brandy is to know it. While you're here, would you like to look at my wares? I'll be sure to look at them when I return. Thank you. Okay. So, I got it. I know what brandy is. I don't know how it gives me history, though. But, like, I know what brandy is. <laughs> Wait, okay, so Carlton Square. So I'm so glad I went back to go talk to that person, because I knew where, like, they were walking last time. Oh, we're back here. Okay, okay I'm gonna talk to this guy. Oh, I kind of passed him. Oh, you're the one who forgot the password and couldn't get in earlier. No, I'm here because I know the password. Then what is it? Okay, <laughs> I got confused there. Woo, thank you. Nice, I can go in the pub now. Awesome. It's, I couldn't get in for some reason. I was like tapping and I was like, come on, let me in the pub. Let me in the pub, I sent the password. Can I talk to a minute? I'm gonna talk. God, there's somebody. Have you seen a man named Mr. Hyde? No, I've never heard that name before, sir. Why are you looking for him? What on earth did he do? He trampled a young girl and caused disturbance on the streets. And at a pub as well, it seems. Did you say he trampled a young girl? I have a young child, too. That is... What an human monster. Such a man to be hanged. What a pity that the death penalty was abolished. Please calm yourself. Anyway, thank you. I hope that man must try to be caught soon. Me too. I don't know how long this game is going to be. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm just, like, afraid I don't know how long this game is going to be. I know what the death penalty is. Everybody. Okay. okay, apparently I can't talk to this freaking lady. Oh, he did cause a disturbance. He broke the table. Welcome. I've never seen you around before. But I did give you the correct password, so you don't need to be worried. I have a question. Uh, how about a glass of absinthe right here? I don't know what that is, actually. I have no idea what the alcohol is. 
Uh, no, I'm afraid now is not a good time. Could you tell me what happened last night? Oh, you mean the bloke that destroyed the barrels and caused a uh, disturbance? Yes, about that. That man's name it must be Nestor Hyde. Could you tell me where he went and what else he did? So that scoundrel's name was Hyde. I don't even like his name. Thinking about him makes me shudder. Uh, oh. Um, that's a random number. One time. One minute, I guess someone's calling me. Hello? No. I guess there was no one. They were also breaking up very bad, so I guess they were in a bad plot. Um. I would appreciate if, it if you could tell me more about the incident. I don't want to speak about him anymore. Go ask the barmaid over there. She saw what happened. I feel like I all have bad luck if I say another word about that scoundrel. That's why I hired a private guard. Okay. Absinthe is a liquor that was loved by artists of the 19th century. It is an anthus-flavored spirit devoured from the flowers and leaves from the worm plant. Its green color has a led to be nick to being nicknamed the green fairy oh okay excuse me i would like to know about the man that caused a mayhem here last night oh you mean the horrible man i don't ever want to meet or even think about this person like that again can you tell me more about him hmm hmm I know that you don't want to, but please, even a little information will help. He was unpleasant, rude, and most detestable. And the, that hideous laugh, he threatened people. It's impossible to describe it properly. Could you please tell me more? He told me to follow him to some street. I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about him right now. Oh, I see. I understand. He, we must report it to the police as soon as possible. Have a nice day. I think there was a police constable somewhere in the cabin square. I'll have to go and tell him. I don't know. Huh. Okay, let me get out of here. I have a bubble over my head. Okay, it's just literally saying the thought. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here! Come on, let me have a pub! Oh, okay. Oh, where's something vibrated? Let me out of the pub! Uh, and stretch my arms. Okay, where is that pub? Oh, uh, no, not there. Where is that police officer? Right here. Excuse me. Are you investigating what happened last night at the pub? What happened to the pub? I haven't heard anything. What happened? A man who goes by the name of Mr. Hyde threatened both the bartender and barmaids. He has been causing trouble all over London. Witnesses say that he's a horrifying man, and I heard that he went into the alley. Oh, finally, some evidence that may help us solve this case. Understood. I'll report to my superiors that I'll be conducting a search for of the surrounding areas. Thank you. I'll search the alley as well. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to stop here. Thank you again for watching. It was a really good part of the game. I will see y'all tomorrow, and have a nice night or day, whatever, wherever y'all are, and thank you for joining in. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and bye bye See you later.